Pokemon fell off. Come after me all you want, but I grew up with the series the same as you. I'm a 20-something year old Asian kid. I grew up playing Pokemon. My first game was Fire Red on the Game Boy Advance. I was there with you, and they lost me. I played the first gen, second gen, third gen, fourth gen, fifth gen. They were all fantastic. You know, obviously we peaked in the third gen. If you don't think we peaked at Emerald, I don't know what you're smoking. Emerald, Diamond, that era, fantastic. And then we hit gen five, black and white. It was pretty good. And then after that, I kind of lost interest a little bit because it felt more samey. I just sort of casually played them a little bit and totally fell off by the seventh gen. I came back when I got my Switch and I, <laughs> load. And I played the 8th gen. I played Sword and Shield. I probably don't need to say anything because you probably played it too. What was that, Game Freak? How is it so bad? I'm not talking about the graphics. Well, I am talking about the graphics, but we'll get there. But what I'm talking about is like, when did they start assuming that their audience is stupid? It's always been aimed at children. The series has always been aimed at children. And actually now, now that they've dumbed it down even more, now that they have Hop every five feet telling you where to go. Every five feet, he's like, oh, hey, you actually got to go to the Pokemon Center now. Hey, you need to go to the gym now. Hey, can you help me now? Hey, follow me. And I can't even get through a town without talking to him 10 times. I don't know anyone in the world that I like enough to talk to them 10 different times in a day. If I had to see myself 10 times a day in a mirror, I'd go crazy. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about them treating you like you're stupid. Why did that happen? Their player base's average age has actually gone up over the years. If you look now, the average age of a gamer is like in their 30s or something. It's like 35 years old. That's way older than me. Back then, it would have been probably closer to like the mid 20s. But the first generation of gamers has gotten older. Even though the second gen that grew up with Pokemon in the, the original Game Boy, they're getting older now. They're in their 30s. They have kids. Their kids are playing the new Pokemon games and they're like, what? What is this? You grew up with this? You must have had a sad childhood. Let me tell you, Sonny, back in my day, Pokemon was actually good. The developers actually cared. They gave you a solid game. Gen 2, you finish the whole region and find out you can go back to the first one too? There's so much content, it's crazy. It's like, wow, man, you get the Battle Frontier and Emerald. This is fantastic. What do we get now? A horrifically buggy launch of a game that clearly wasn't ready to be released? No one, there's no way anyone in the QA department looked at that game and said, yep, this one's ready to go. Ship it out. It barely functions. The character gets all creepy and the face gets all and there's like people spinning around and their arms are going, woo. You know what I mean? And they said, launch that? Are you kidding me? I legitimately think the Pokemon company hates their fans. There's no way you can treat someone that badly. If I went up to my friend and asked them for their sandwich and, and they gave it to me graciously, they let me part of their lunch because I didn't have anything to eat. And then I slapped them and left. Do you think the next day when I came back to ask for a sandwich, they'd give it to me again? No, they'd probably give me a restraining order. They'd probably give me a court summons. They say, see ya for that assault. But with Pokemon, it's like, okay, I'm gonna give you 60 bucks. And the trade offer is that you give me good game. Except we give them 60 bucks, they give us a broken game, and then everyone complains, stop buying it. If you're upset with the status quo, then stop buying it. This shouldn't have been the highest selling Pokemon of all time. It's ridiculous. Scarlet and Violet is the worst Pokemon ever made. At least if I play Sword and Shield, I know it's going to function on a basic level. Oh, I put 200 hours in a Scarlet and Violet. You know, it's a great game. Well, good luck when that save file gets deleted because that's actually a bug. How is it possible that getting your save file deleted is a bug when you connect it to Pokemon Home? Are you kidding me? Game Freak's a joke. I'm going to be honest. I think we need a new studio. Whenever you see the good Pokemon games, the, the other ones, Coliseum, Stadium, even for those of you that like Pokemon Snap, Unite, I don't believe any of those games are made by Game Freak. They are incapable in the modern era of making a decent game. Ever since they switched from 2D to 3D, they've been lost. They cannot figure out how to, how to function in the third dimension. What? It's not just a flat line. I have to go forward and back. We have to go diagonal now. What is this? They're lost. They can't figure out camera control. They can't figure out 3D environments. They don't know how to deal with textures. Look, go ask Square Enix for their, their HD 2D engine. Go buy the license from them or something. And then make a, a 2D Pokemon game in the classic style in the HD 2D and everyone will love it. I'm tired of this nonsense. You know what spurred me to turn on my camera and start yelling in my microphone today? There is a position open at Game Freak related to NFTs and Web3. I swear to you right now. If we start getting Pokemon NFTs from the most profitable and highest earning media franchise in the history of planet Earth in the Milky Way, I am going to absolutely explode into oblivion. I have already felt my childhood die with this absolute nonsense. And now 
they want to get into NFTs. You don't hire someone at a company that doesn't like hiring people because we like to have a small team. You don't hire someone in that kind of company to make NFTs just so they can sit around and not make NFTs. They're obviously hiring someone experienced in the Web3 to make NFTs. You guys really need more money? Because all the money in the world couldn't give you enough talent to make a good game. Thanks for listening to my real talk. I honestly, I talk a lot in my everyday life. I am able to talk for hours at a time sometimes, uh, even if the other person isn't really interested in what I'm saying, it's kind of a rant. So I figured I might as well come talk to all of you who might be more interested in hearing about gaming topics. I hope you liked it. I'm still gonna be making my super highly edited, hurts my brain to look at editing software kind of videos, you know, Nicky Jakey style, cause he's obviously my inspiration. Subscribe if you like Charizard.